Good morning, Dallas with Middle Tennessee Concrete, and this morning we're uh, we're forming up a uh, above ground storm shelter. Uh, <clears throat> this storm shelter is uh, going to be uh, hidden on the first floor inside. It'll it'll look like a closet, but uh, a lot of people who don't have the ability to dig d you know, below their uh, footing grade, like uh, similar to like a basement. Uh, for their storm shelter. A lot of people are going this route. Uh, this is a crawl space foundation and uh, a typical crawl space will say in the area I'm in Tennessee are you know I think they have to be uh, over two foot above the footing as per you know they say a crawl space so you can crawl under the foundation or under the floor system and you know uh, work on stuff like that but uh, this one uh, <clears throat> the reason why it's so tall is because it's got to uh, be level with the first floor ceiling. So uh, well, I'm going to turn this camera around and uh, we'll take a look and kind of watch what they're doing. <clears throat> Got some number five rebar, one foot on center. And he there we got a couple six inch sleeves for vi for ventilation and also for running any kind of uh, electrical or anything else like that through there uh, down below I don't know if you can see it or not that's that down there is the top of our door frame and the rest of our rebar down through there uh, good morning I'm Dallas with Middle Tennessee Concrete and today we're pouring an above ground storm shelter this is a uh, new construction as you can kind of see there's footings and of course right there's my storm shelter we're fixing to pour here in a couple hours uh, we're uh, we're in Spring Hill Tennessee which is just a little south of Nashville but uh, on this on this above ground storm shelter uh, from the footing to the top of it is 15 foot tall uh, the walls are eight inches thick. We've got number five rebar, one foot on center, uh, on the, in the walls and on top of the cap. Uh, yeah, when when we pour storm shelters, we always, we typically always pour the uh, pour the the cap of the shelter with the walls all together. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick the camera up under there so you can kind of kind of see the door opening. Uh, I'll turn the camera around. Right behind that ladder is our actually our our door opening. Some of the frame of the door is actually inside the form, so you can't see it. Uh, it's it goes from the top of the floor system. The top of the house floor system is about about right here, and the door frame goes up about another seven foot. 
up there and it's about three foot wide uh, eventually uh, they're what, what they're gonna do is we're gonna we leave the concrete opening and they come in with a steel frame and they build the steel frame inside around around my wall so he'll have a really secure door uh, a door that actually will open to the inside uh, if there's ever any like anything fell against the door he could always open the door to the inside uh, there's where we framed the cap up underneath I don't know if you can see that or not but uh, we got it braced and over braced yeah the room is about a it's only about like a uh, seven foot by nine foot wide so just big enough to put a few valuables or uh, get your family uh, in case of a emergency like a tornado or something but our uh, pump truck and concrete should be here in a little while and we'll get some video of that so we'll be back shortly all right concrete's here uh, we got two loads of 4,000 psi concrete here we're a little under the gun as you can see behind me there's uh, storms in the area on the way, so we're trying to get this done before it hits. Uh, I said earlier, I was talking about number five rebar. That actually, to clarify, that means five eighths in diameter steel. And when I said uh, rebar one foot on center, that means I've got a five eighths stick of rebar every one foot vertically and every one foot horizontally. Anyway, we got concrete pouring and hopefully we can beat this weather. got it poured and uh, the storms are starting to roll in so we're trying to get our pump cleaned up as quick as we can and get our boom out of the air because there's lightning in the area all right so we got it all poured Bruno there's smoothing it out a little bit uh, Azael he's over there putting a few bolts in floating it down getting it nice and neat and we're fixing to get out of here because the rain is coming thank you all please like and subscribe and we'll have more concrete next week please ask your mom to sub
This is Dallas with Middle Tennessee Concrete. I just want to say thank you for watching and like and subscribe and we'll have more concrete content hopefully every week, every Thursday. Thanks again for watching.